Hi, this is Jim Lyon, the host of the All That To Say podcast. Before you dive in today, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can catch all of our fearless conversations. I didn't start with a mission statement. I sort of evolved into a mission statement, which is I want to celebrate the triumph of the human spirit. Now, even when I was doing films on basketball players like Roger Brown, the very first Indiana Pacer, and then Slick Leonard, of course, his coach, and, and also a wonderful player in his own right, yeah, the basketball was all fun, but when I'd sit back at the end and as I'm crafting the story, I didn't focus it around that. And then after that, I did branch out um, beyond sports. I did the story of Crispus Attucks High School, followed by the story of Eva Kaur, the Holocaust survivor, and now, of course, with Carl Erskine. And, and I'd say especially with those three, my goal, my goal for the walk away, people walk out of that film amazed by what, you know, in, in the case of Eva and Carl, what an individuals were, how were they were able to move so social mountains, you know, one act at a time, at a time. And then Crispus Attucks, just the whole, the whole school, you know, as, as such a beacon of hope for the, you know, the African-American community. Um, but I want, so people, I want people to be amazed by all that, but also think, God, you know what? I think maybe I can, I can be a better person myself. I can do some of the things myself. Because I think that, especially I would say with Carl, his, his heroism is the best kind of heroism. And there's a lot of people you call heroes around this and other thing. But Carl's heroism, if you look at it, is an attainable heroism. It's something that we all can do. We don't need to be able to dunk a basketball. Yes, Carl could pitch a ball 95 miles an hour. But his greatest impact by far came off the field through simple acts of kindness. I mean, it, 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 it seems almost trite. It seems too simple, but it's not. And he's 95-year-old living proof of that. And man, I was just, I was drawn to that guy. And, and again, um, we now have an education, not just a film. We have an education program where we try to bottle. We're trying to bottle Carl and Betty and Jimmy's inspiration and their values so that long after they're you know no longer with us, students around Indiana and hopefully beyond will be learning from that. We'll be learning from one of their own, very relatable lesson plans.